everyone, Dr. Clark here. Let's talk about the connection between chronic urticaria and Hashimoto's thyroiditis, autoimmune thyroid. It's very interesting. Um, chronic idiopathic urticaria is a condition basically that means, hey, you get these itchy wheels on your skin that can vary in size and number. It can be brought about by exercise, uh, you know, stress. And when they say idiopathic, what they're saying is we don't know what's causing it. Because, you know, urticaria can have some uh, mechanisms that are very well known, like you're having an allergic reaction to a, uh, a medication or a food. But uh, a lot of people have what's called chronic idiopathic urticaria, which means we don't know what's causing it. Well, about 30 years ago, uh, there was some research that said, look, there's a lot of these people that have chronic idiopathic urticaria that have autoimmune thyroid. Well, a study last year basically picked up that topic again and said, well, let's look investigate that. Let's uh, look at these studies. Let's do some, some of our own and see what we find out. Well, what is the connection? Well, the first thing to understand is in chronic idiopathic urticaria, or CIU, um, it's shown that anywhere between 45 to 55 percent of those people already have an autoimmune condition. They're making antibodies to what's called IgE or the IgE receptor. Now understand, if you're making antibodies to a piece of yourself and you're attacking it, then that is autoimmunity. Now the people that wrote the paper didn't really understand uh, how there could be a connection, but one of the people they quote called thyroid autoimmunity and CIU as parallel autoimmune events. And how I look at that is, look, if you've already broken the tolerance to yourself, then you can start attacking anything. And if you've already developed a situation in which you're attacking your thyroid, that's Hashimoto's, and you get lots of low thyroid symptoms from that, like, you know, uh, depression and constipation and hair loss and brain fog, if you've already got Hashimoto's, it's not that big of a leap to think that you could develop something like chronic urticaria because it's another autoimmune condition. Likewise, if you first develop the skin problem and then develop low thyroid symptoms, the best chance is you probably developed Hashimoto's, the autoimmune cause for hypothyroidism. And Hashimoto's is the most common cause for hypothyroidism. So what I want to share with you is that they found that 25% of chronic idiopathic urticaria patients had positive antibodies for Hashimoto's. 25%. Um, I think that's very, very significant. And I wanted to share this with you because uh, a lot of times people will have symptoms and not realize that they're really a hidden clue to what's really going on with them. So if you've ever been diagnosed with chronic idiopathic urticaria and you've now developed low thyroid symptoms, it's a good chance you have Hashimoto's. Likewise, if you've already got Hashimoto's and you've developed these uh, short-lasting or even long-lasting itchy wheels that can come and go, um, that's probably why it's a sign that your autoimmune condition has expanded a little bit into another tissue, which is not a good sign. Uh, we don't want the autoimmune reaction to do that. So um, if you have either one of those problems or those symptoms, now you kind of know how to make sense of it. And you really need to find someone that can help you deal with it because, unfortunately, uh, taking a Synthroid or Cytomel or Armor or one of those things for Hashimoto's uh, doesn't really do anything for the burning fire in there that it's the autoimmune condition. Uh, that needs to be addressed. And the same thing goes for the urticaria. You can take steroids for it, but that doesn't really solve it, right? That just kind of suppresses your immune system and, you know, that has some side effects as well. So, I just want to share that with you. Chronic urticaria and Hashimoto's, pretty big connection.